What's up guys, it's Joel here. In this video, I would like to share about how you can automate the process of generating Microsoft Teams member list for access review and audit. It will save you a lot of time, especially when you own a lot of groups or you own groups with a lot of users. Without further ado, let us get started. First, go to flow.microsoft.com then click on the create button and build an instant cloud flow with an instant cloud flow you will be able to run the automation by triggering it manually whenever you want give your new flow a name here select manually trigger a flow and click on create now let us start a new step after the trigger we will first list all the groups that we own with the Office 365 group connector. We will then initialize an array variable with the variable connector. This variable will be used to store all the values that we will generate in the subsequent steps. Then we will list all group members for each of the group using the list of group IDs that is generated from step 1. For the next step, we will use the append to array variable action. What this action does is that for each of the group members that we generate, we will push the values that we have selected into the array variable that we have created in the previous step. Now we can select the fields that we need. For my own review, I need the group name, group ID, and all the members' details, including display name, given name, job title, email address, surname, user ID, and user principal name. After the array has been filled with all the information that we need, we can use the array to create a CSV table so that we can transfer it to Excel easily. Before we proceed to test it, Remember to change the settings for the list group member step. Turn on pagination and type in 5000 as the threshold. If we do not change this setting, by default, it will only return a maximum of 100 members per group, which may be incomplete for our records. Now that we have all the steps in place, click on the save button and start testing the flow. Click on the test button and wait until the flow finish its run. Once the flow has been completed, click on the last action of the flow. Here, you will see the CSV table containing all the information that we need in the output section. Due to confidentiality issue, I have blurred some of the information here. Select all the output using Ctrl A and then Ctrl C to copy. Open a new Excel workbook and press Ctrl V to paste the output into the worksheet. You may notice that all the information is in one cell, separated by commas. What we need to do here is use the text to column function under the data tab and separate those information into different columns. And there you have it. All the team's group members for all the groups that you own is in one Excel file. If this video helps you in any way, be sure to give me a thumbs up and share it with your colleagues. Let me know if there's any repetitive or time-consuming process that you would be interested to automate in the comment section below. I will be sure to make a video on those that most of you are interested in. That's all from me for this video and I hope to see you in my next video. Goodbye!